It's recording, recording, one, two, one, two. Oh, I have ten minutes with you guys. Literally eight minutes. And I was recording on my other YouTube, my other phone, but the YouTube channel keeps shutting off. Um, it's all good, man. Um, this is a continuation of my video on breakup. Feel me? Now, let me say this. I'm talking about breakup and relationship, friendship, entanglementship, any kind of ship that take you anywhere. Remind yourself, when you on a ship, guess what? You are one passenger on the same ship. If a virus or a zombie virus break up, I'm more likely to believe that everybody on that ship is going to be, what? Infected. That's what I believe. You feel me? So I'm just I'm just trying to make a point that any form of ship that you own, any form of relationship and everything else, you become one with that individual. And an energy, like I was saying, this motherfuckers be hating. And energy takes the least resistant path. Energy floats freely. Energy cannot be destroyed. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It is, it is always is. It is what it is. You feel me? That's why when I think of elements. And the elements, we are made out of the same elements as the sun. So these elements are a form of energy that have always been here a long time ago. So these elements have created a conscious of their own. Because anything that's around for that long and does not cannot be created nor destroyed has a conscious of its own. So when I say uh, energy takes the least resistant path, it has taken the least resistant path to make what we are today. It has created us and it's and we are an expression of that energy that has always been here it, it it literally thought of us into existing if you could just think of it in like that if you don't believe in god think of it in a scientific form before i lose and go into or uh, before i lose my thoughts and go into a whole narrative that will lose myself in it too remember this um what you may call it what it, the main topic the reason why i'm talking about this is called breakup now we are made of energy, right? And you now, when you're in a relationship and you break up with anything, it can be a girl, it could be a job, it could be anything that you break up with. It can be a habit, it can be anything, anything. When you break up with these things, I want you guys to think of it as the same format as you, as the energy that you are. When you break up with something, it takes a while for that for that person to leave you completely. The mistake that most people do is they jump into another form of energy and mix it up. Now you have, this is what the entanglement comes along. Because even an entanglement doesn't even have a, a found definition of what an entanglement is. It's like hit it and quit it. Or we're just doing what we're doing. We don't know where it's going. It doesn't work like that. Now, when you in a, you see, I'm in a relation, regardless of what it is, and a relationship is an encounter between one person and the other. Whether it's good or bad, it's still a relationship. Whether you degrade that person or not, it's still a form of a relationship. Like I said, you feel me? So, even if you don't, even if you can't, let's just say a boy and a girl came together, right, rightfully so. And they came together. They made an agreement to come together. Bomb. That's a relationship. There's another form of a relationship where somebody hates you and somebody hates you. And now you have to defend yourself in that. Y'all two got a relationship. Whether you want to call it or not, it's a hateful relationship that's going on. You feel me? Breaking away from these things, you don't quickly jump into another form of relationship, which is good, or another form of argument, which is good. Remember, when you break away from something... It shadows, it shatters into pieces. You feel me? It shatters into pieces. And each piece has to be shattered in a way where you have to it literally pay attention to what that piece, what that piece of that breakup. Okay, remind you. Try to make it as simple as possible. Remember, when y'all came together, rightfully so or wrong, y'all made it into one energy, one form now. Now when you break apart. That piece of that individual is still around you, in use, orbiting around you, any form of any, however you want to put it. That piece is still around. You do not do the mistake of jumping into somebody else's space or domain or jump into another argument. You feel me? You have to. It's like boxing sometimes. The boxes take a same period. Like... Let's say a year or six months off to relax and re after they have the relationship in the ring. 
they take that time to break away and heal from that relationship itself. If if it didn't need no breakup, the healing is the together part. Now, when you break away, you have to come back into your whole self again. Because it's always that two and one. So you have to come back into your whole self again. So most people do the mistake of breaking away from something. How do you break away from something? You feel me? We don't have that we don't have the answers to that. They might tell you rebound. They might tell you um what is it? They might tell you counseling. Hey, counseling is always good. But the best thing for you to do is to sit with yourself and ask yourself, am I the same way when I came in as I'm going out? You feel me? Is this piece of this individual, the person, or it, or um, the situation still around me? Did I take traits of this uh, of this situation? Shit, the sun just came out. This is retarded weather. I told you, niggas, the reason why they act like this, because these niggas is bipolar, and I feel like it's having an effect on me, because the weather is bipolar in this bitch. <laughs> it was just drizzling, now it's sunny as fuck. This shit is crazy. But I love it, though. You feel me? But when you break up with something, just like, let me look at my own situation. When I moved away from New York, and I have that intersection of breaking away from New York a little bit, now, do I take the same traits of New York into California? No, it's not going to work out. I have to literally, literally disconnect myself from the components. I'm not saying I'm going to forget everything else, but I have to literally empty out my cup to learn something new in the new surrounding that I'm in and never forgetting the lessons that I took from there. But still, I still have to be vulnerable enough to learn something new and this is the way of breaking away when you break away you have to let go of everything even good or bad and be vulnerable enough to learn something new when you come to a new environment so that's why i wanted to talk about the breakup situation because a lot of people talk about breakup and the best and the advice that they keep giving people is oh rebound um do this do that like do this. i have i have a whole list on my i was supposed to do it on this phone have the list and read it out but Unfortunately, they hating on my other phone. But when you break away, just make sure that you do it the right way. And I'm gonna keep talking about breakup and everything else like that because I'm doing it the right way. It's not, it's not, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not that hard. I just want to put it out there. If somebody has a better idea, I will hear it. Cause when I put it out there, I do hear the message through other things, and it do, it do pop up. Um, of course, AI. AI has been stalking me for a while now. So every time I talk about something, these things pop up on your phone. Of course, they're listening to you. So if they're going to listen to me, guess what? I'm going to use them for something that's going to help me out. Because you can't escape people listening to you. So that being said, I'm going to use them to help me out. So AI, get your, get your shit together. I'm putting you to work right now. You feel me? All right. Now I'm going in. I'm going in right now. I'll let you